Hi, welcome to the course. I'm Dan McClary. As part of my day job, I help architect big data products at Oracle. I pay special attention to query processors and graph databases, both of which we'll look at throughout this course. I also have the privilege of helping coach some of the world's largest companies in both implementing big data information architectures and in setting up data science programs. Along the way, I also contribute to open source projects like Apache Spark and Tinkerpop Blueprints, both of which we'll actually use throughout the course. And finally, before all of that, I was a researcher specializing in massive graph analytics, things like social networks and biological networks. So what are we gonna do in the scope of this course? Well, first, we're gonna have a module each week that helps you understand how to design storage and retrieval systems. Each week, there'll be an exercise to help you understand how these concepts actually apply and to go a little bit deeper on the topic. And then finally, we're gonna have two exercises which span multiple modules. These will help you really get your hands dirty designing storage and retrieval systems and implementing analytic solutions. So what are our goals for the course? What we really want you to do is understand what tool to use when. So when designing storage and retrieval systems, you need to understand the scope of problems you may see both in small situations and at scale. You need to understand what the characteristics of these systems are and how different characteristics and trade-offs are gonna influence your design decisions. And once that's all done, we want you to get some hands-on experience actually designing some of these big data analytics systems. All right, I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to seeing you in class. Hi, my name is Karthik Ramaswamy, and I'm the engineering manager for Real-Time Analytics Group at Twitter, which manages and operates infrastructures, namely Twitter Storm and Twitter Heron. So I have more than two decades of experience in parallel database systems, big data infrastructure, and networking. At, uh, before coming to Twitter, I co-founded a company called Locomatics, which was specializing in real-time data streaming at a large scale, and eventually Locomatics got acquired by Twitter in 2013. So before founding Locomatics, I had a brief stint at uh, Greenplum, where I was working on parallel query scheduling for a large-scale data processing systems. And eventually, Greenplum was acquired uh, for, by EMC for over $300 million. So before joining uh, Greenplum, I was at Juniper Networks, where I was working on uh, protocols, databases, as well as uh, platforms that are under high availability solutions that are widely deployed in, uh, in the internet today. Before joining Juniper, I was at University of uh, Wisconsin where I worked on uh, large scale parallel database systems and storage engines and online analytical processing systems. So, and a lot of the research that went in during those uh, times were later spun as a company that was acquired by Teradata. So I was, I was the author of uh, several patents, uh, publications and one of the best-selling book in network routing. And finally, I have a PhD in computer science in, uh, from the University of Wisconsin. Why is this course amazing? Because it covers the breadth and depth in big data in, uh, data processing, especially with respect to organizing and how to process large volume of data and uh, how to handle different varieties of data, ranging from structured data, unstructured data to semi-structured data. And finally, you will be learning about different uh, handling data at different rates, such as uh, data coming arriving in real time or storing the data in large scale and querying them in real time, also like doing batch processing over large amount of data. And uh, this course will be covering a lot of material in a shorter amount of time. And finally, I am look forward to seeing you in the class and, and hopefully by the end of the course, you'll all be big data experts. My name is Yari Koister. Um, I'm currently a, a VP of Software Development Oracle, where I focus on uh, working on cloud-based solutions for big data analytics, um, and also specifically around machine learning-based exploration uh, of data. Um, previously, I worked on many different applications, uh, primarily in, in the cloud, uh, but uh, most recently before this, I worked on Tourist Big Data Platform, uh, I also worked on predictive analytics um, in, in a startup, doing that for marketers, uh, building up a big data platform for that, and also worked on uh, uh, highly uh, scalable and distributed systems at Salesforce, running, for example, the engineering for the social enterprise uh, systems.
my other interest is around entrepreneurship. So I founded a couple of companies, groups.com, crowd.com, as well as I did some research um, in Europe, in Sweden, Royal Institute of Technology, and here at HP Labs in Palo Alto, and distributed computing. Um, I've been giving a number of courses in the past. I'm excited to give this one to you, uh, you guys. Um, so look forward to giving this. This class is in a very uh, excited area uh, related to uh, data processing and storage. And uh, it's a very rapidly evolving area. Uh, there's a lot of technical solutions. Uh, there's a lot of hype about certain types of solutions. But you as a data scientist, I think, need to have a very broad view of what solutions that are applicable to what, what uh, problems. Uh, it's very hard to get that understanding. So we're going to help you get that understanding. We're going to teach you about the different technologies. We're going to help you characterize them and understand when to use what. You're going to get some practical experience uh, on using them. We're not going to focus just on the big data uh, Hadoop type stuff. We're going to expose you to other types of technologies too. Um, you, I'm convinced, will learn a lot during this class. It's going to be a very exciting class. I think it's going to be uh, one of a kind. Uh, in terms of uh, the, the, the breadth and, and the depth of the, uh, the, the topics that you will learn about. And why is this exciting now? Why is this such an exciting area? First of all, there's an expanding uh, number of data types available to, to users. Before, it was mostly OTP data. Today, you have web logs, you have application metric logs, you have um, experimental logs, you have event logs, you have web clicks. All this data becomes available to enterprises and, and and scientists that can be leveraged to improve products, improve the analytics, create data-driven companies. Um, so, but you need to be able to store and process this data, and that's the big challenge. And of course, there's now also new technologies to help you that are economical, that are scalable, that's accessible to smaller companies as well as the big companies. Previously, big companies like Walmart and so forth, they could afford buying very high-end servers to do this thing. Small companies couldn't. Today, all this is accessible to companies of all sizes, which means that the, the area with which this is uh, applicable is growing really rapidly. So we're going to help you understand this, and we're excited to see you. We're excited to give this class and look forward to see you in coming sessions.